Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Construction lot, site for an immense tower which will have a Coliseum on the top floor. Interesting, interesting. So I did speed the game up by about 30%. Oh wow, that's cool looking. I don't know why we come here first. Because I don't think there's anything really here. It's been a mighty long time. I can't rightly recall when it was that. We're just about done here. All that's left is clean up the site. Yeah, so I think I may have touched something in the edits that I shouldn't have. Let's fix that quick. It seems to be working. Oh, I've been working hard, I have. Let me tell you, making this here huge shower is one mess job. Hard to imagine even for me. Y'all come back to visit when we're all done here. There'll be a coliseum on top of the tower. Amazing stuff. Alright, well, let's leave. I, I don't understand why they make you stop in that little town. Okay. Ah, oh, Mr. Johnson, give a man a break here. I keep telling you I don't know anything. That better be true, Kyle. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? Alright, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See you! Hehe, <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. But what about me? What are you looking at? I haven't seen your faces around these parts. What are you, Taurus? If you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost. And quick, for the good of your health, hee <laughs> hee. It's a pirate town of earth, wind, and money. Like it. You appear to be outsiders, you'd best beware. There are many ne'er-do-well sorts out here. Alright, so... Which of these places are we supposed to go? Yo, your outfit's kind of weird, but you're a trainer too, aren't you? Yeah. Good, that's okay then. Teach you about one of the few rules this town has. We have street battles rather than exchanging greetings. Alright. Well, what do you got for me, Calda? Calda. A centret and a halo. Alright. Ah, I should have. Wait. Oh, wait, no, my Shadow Pokemon doesn't know attacks. Like, they only know Shadow Rush. So all we can do with them is Shadow Rush. Yes, one hit knockout. Let's see. All right, so he has a slack off. So close. It's defensing up. That's funny. Which one of these attacks? I think Shadow Rush does more. It's hard to say exactly because they both. It's hard to get a gauge on these attacks because you don't really fight any of the same kind of people. Like, I would have thought that would have done a lot more damage. But I think no matter what, we were going into turn three, so... Great, slack off main in. So he's beyond gain some points. And he's defeated. Oops, you are better than me. Yeah, you're right. Get used to it. Trip myself up, but you're not bad at all. Your Pokemon are tops too. <laughs> Seeing your eyes, you're just like us. It's easy to see. What's this? Oh, it's a hotel. Hello. Welcome to the Pirate Super Grand Hotel. They want our ultra gorgeous suites and you'll be refreshed like you're brand new. Your Pokemon too. For a hundred bucks. No thanks. Oh, that's too bad then. Next time you need to stay a night, make sure it's right here. Oh, I can explore in here for 
free, which... Man, now I don't want to stay here if, I, if they just let people walk into your rooms. Hey, you want to fight? Was that long ago when Duking was the man of pirate? Now that right out of there, weirdo Myro B and his stooges ride herd over the town. I wonder what's so special about that Myro B guy. Well, he's probably a leader of Team Snagum. Infamous. Okay, I'm outside. Okay, I'm inside. Well, that's not good. Hi, I know you're sleeping, but... Okay, attack it now. No, don't get confused. This is... Oh, we've lost our friend. Well, maybe she'll rejoin us when we go outside? Ah, good. Alright, so we got a shop, but they don't sell any balls. Look at what we have here. You're quite the hottie. Why don't you lose that wallflower with you and be my sweetie? Wait a second. Who are you to call me a wallflower? What about me makes me a wallflower? Yeah, look at her. She's all serious and uncool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not to my taste. Grr, that's it. I'm furious now. Hey, bro, be a man and stomp her down. Stomp? Who, me? <laughs> that's a laugh. Come on, then. I'll go easy on you. Okay. That escalated quickly. Alright, so gulping and it's too bad. I don't remember how many fights you need to use your Pokemon for for them to um, be purifiable. I can't tell if it's like five to get to to get one of those big bars down. If it's like ten, it might be wise actually. Oh no, S beyond drowsy. Oh wait, no. So if I switch Makuhita in here, I can start on his bar as well, right? Oh wow, his is down a lot quicker. Or does it just go down, like even just hanging out with me? I was like 10 when this game came out, so, and the time I played it and didn't beat it. So you have to forgive what I don't remember. What kind of a man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not going to win the hearts of girls that way. I mean, you're right. But... Yeah, bro, it was here in the square that I saw that strange boy. Try tried to leave town afterwards. That's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of time, there's nothing normal about this town. I mean, these five people standing in a circle is kind of weird. Hey, you wanna go, bro? Do a square, where even crying kids know they'd better shit up. This is where roughnecks gather. How about it? How would you like to battle me? Sure. Can't be hard. Excellent. I like a man who can come to a quick decision. Let's have it out. I mean, I'm literally here to battle everyone to be the best, like no one ever was. Or to snag them. Something like that. Right, so Bayleaf and Espeon. So we can catch Knockdown. But first, we gotta take out Ladybug. Ah, darn it. Well, you can raise their defense. It's, it's just gonna. I'm using special attacks. I think if we double up on Ladybug, we should take it out. Oh wait, no, the defense up, won't, like I just said, won't matter because it's a special attack. Well, I forget my own help. Okay, so I 
Espeon. So Wingle. So who's this gonna hit? Okay, Wingle. Good. I guess. Alright, so if we use Shadow Rush on you, it should take you out. And Confusion on you. Everything should be fine. Ooh, that might have hurt a lot. I don't know how much health I had at the beginning of that. To accurately guess if it hurt. So Shadow Rush. Alright, so he's out. Bayleaf gets a little bit of a recoil. Alright, so if I switch Bayleaf in for Marquita, we hit him with another confusion. Depending on the attack he uses, we might be able to catch him next turn. Ooh, that's a lot of damage from Makuita. Um, let's try it. If this Poke if the Pokeball doesn't work, boom. We'll try a Great Ball. Once. Twice. Ah, shoot. It's no good, it's not listening. Wait. What do you mean it's not listening? Oh, Makavita fell asleep. Alright, so we'll switch you, just for reasons, to Umbreon. Everyone gets a little bit of experience. And a great ball. Yep, on him. Snag him. Snag him up. One. Really? Jeez. Alright, good. That didn't hurt. Oh, that. Yeah. I forgot. Noctowl only has one attack. Alright. Another great ball. And a call. I don't know what call means. Is that what I do if they're confused? Once. Twice. Three. Alright. Good. You're saying I lost? Yeah, and I just stole your Pokemon. That is what I would be more concerned about. Right then. I like your style. Here's a useful tip. Pokemon goes into hyper mode. Its attacks become more likely to be crits. What a surprise, hey? Why the trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it now. The town's hiding a big secret. Yeah. Oh, I could have sworn I was pressing down. Um. I might want to... Yeah, I think I'll heal my team. It's also weird that this shop has a Pokeball on it. When they don't sell Pokeballs. Alright, give me one room, but don't let me walk, like, out of the plane of existence again. Hope you enjoy staying with us. So, did you get a good night's rest? Next time you need to stay, make sure it's here. Alright, take me out of here before we run through the walls again. Alright, yeah, so we're fully healed. I can't believe there's not a Poke Center in this place. Alright, so you're up next. I feel like sticking around for a demonstration of my Pokemon's moves. Good, good. I like your attitude. Feast your eyes on these moves. I 
I don't know what your name is. Diogo? That's a weird name. I, oh wait, again. Noctowl doesn't know flying moves. Like, that's like the hardest thing to remember in this. That Pokemon don't know if they're shadow, they don't really matter on the offensive side. Because they all have the same attack. It's just the defensive side that you basically have a choice. Oh, it's in hyper mode. But why though? Because someone just told you that hyper mode exists? As long as you take out this shroomish, I'm okay with you going hyper. Wait. Alright, well you're paralyzed. A lot of good hyper mode does now. Take out Shirmish. so it did learn an attack. Oh, I think each one of those bars it passes, it learns a new move. No, Noctowl might be the wrong choice now that I've thought about how this works. Okay, that did a good bit of damage. So, between this Shadow Rush and my Shadow Rush, I might be able to take him out. Oh, and he knows Thundershock. So that's... Oh, Hyper Mode. Interesting. You could have attacked. Well, either way, I probably want to head to the Pokey Center after this. So. Espeon, don't kill it. I'm like... I can't trust these Shadow Pokemon not to kill it. Oh no! Oh yes! Because if he would have used Shadow Rush, he probably would have died. Alright, so now... I'm curious... Like, can I use... Throw one. It can't be used again right away. Okay. What? Oh wait, no. I I want your summary. Like, which wall light the weakens physical attacks, boosts the power of the recipient's move. Now I can't imagine, but will helping hand work? No. It won't. I remember I had Flaffy on the original, and it was nice to have an electric Pokemon. Because I don't know the next one time I'll get an electric one. You outperformed me, and you stole my cute Pokemon. You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little secret about a certain Pokemon. Move Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by their types. Now damage doesn't vary with the target Pokemon's type, so it's easy to use. That's true. How hurt is my team? Okay, Bayleaf's not hurt, she's just paralyzed. Or he's just paralyzed. Um, there's... Oh wait, I wanted to switch. And then I'll switch to Bayleaf. If you try talking to anyone in Dua Square, there's only one answer. Ryder Lebo would like to battle. Alright, so we 
got two grass Pokemon. If only Noctul Noctowl knew a flying move. Which one's C? Okay, the um skip loom. Take out skip or er, don't take out skip and take out oddish. Ooh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of damage. The stocks. Okay, don't know what got into knocked out. I hate that how hyper mode works. Like. Why couldn't you have attacked? Skip Loom. Okay, Skip Loom is not poison. Now we know. Confusion. He's not confused though, right? Alright, still in hyper mode. So Shadow Rush, yeah, same thing again. Okay. Don't kill it. I'll be very disappointed in you, Espeon, if you do. Which is a weird thing to say, but... Oh wow, that's a lot of experience. Alright, so you're going to use Pokeball? I don't think it has much health. I don't really care if I get him or not. But I would like Bayleaf to get a little closer to having an ult. Oh, I throw the ball before I switch to Pokemon. I don't think I realized that. But I would like Bayleaf to unlock another attack. Free. Interesting. Alright, use Mega Drain. Okay, didn't really do much. Uh, everyone's in hyper mode. But you, if you attack, you'll kill it. So. Who's coming back? Alright, once, twice, three times. Alright. I'd like to go for a perfect run and catch all of these shadow Pokemon in this. Plus, it's nice to. Experience. Oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L O V E. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. Is that actually true? I'm curious if my Pokemon get experience and stuff, even if they're not in battle. Or not if they're not in battle, but if they sub in. All right, we can probably take out this guy. Battling fans are always welcome. Bandana guy, Devel, with his Quagsire and his Psyduck. But wait, oh wait, never mind, wrong part. Wait, could one of those Pokemon be dark? Ah, oh, it's Quagsire. Alright. So let's take out Psyduck quick. Alright. Okay, good. Psyduck's taken care of.
Yeah, so just beat him up. Oh wait, that was... Oh, he's confused. That's the first one. I hope that... Oh, and a crit. Thanks, game. Oh, and he hit himself. Ooh. He's really wearing down his health. So, I just, oh yeah, I know what I want to do. So, we're checking, so he is at 819 to next level. So if we shift him out, does he still get experience? But if I catch him, we won't know. So, once, twice, three times. tough we've got the battle again yes but I need to heal and the only way to do that is to pay your corrupt hotel and I'm only saying it's corrupt because it has a portal to the outside world the underworld and because they charge for something that's free in every other town <laughs> all right so now we can... Wait, I want to put Bayleaf first again. Hey, <laughs> you're looking to battle with me? Yep, that's too funny. Come at me as if your life depended on it. Does it depend on it? Shadow Mistress. How do you know that that's just not a regular Mistress? Alright, so Shadow Rush Skitty, um, Espeon, you should probably come back. Let's see. Let's start. Would Dark be a bad idea? Wait, why is. Oh, because they're in, like, hyper mode or something. Flaffy's just dark. Not hyper, just dark. Oh, I guess I could have used Espeon to take out Skitty. That would have been a good idea, but. Didn't think about that. Alright, Skitty with the tackle. Take out Skitty quick. Just because we want to make sure we take it out. Ah, Bayleaf. What are you gonna do, Bayleaf? Ah, you idiot. Sweet, sweet idiot. Fight. Ah, see? This is where we needed you, Bayleaf. Now, see, your attack gets lowered, and Umbreon's attack. I hope you're happy, Bayleaf. Bayleaf, not Bayleaf. Ooh. 37. And your special defense fell. And you're confused. But you didn't let me down. That's all that matters. But you might need to switch out. I think Skitty died for realsies. Alright, Zigzagoon. I'm biting it, so it should be pretty painful. Right. Not painful enough. Yeah, we'll take him out, because there's only a slim chance of Bayleaf actually fainting. But that chance is getting higher. Zigzagoon attacks. For trouble. Yeah, 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 he's dead. He'll never attack again. Alright, 
right, Bailey, if you're coming back, you're gonna send in Makuta. Yeah, because Mak Makuita doesn't know any fighting attacks. Or is Dark strong against fighting? It's not strong, I think it just did a lot of damage. Alright, um, Makuhita, you need to bounce out of here. Give Flaffy a chance to go into hyper mode. Okay, then didn't hurt as bad as it could have. Okay, good. No crit. Or do I want... Yeah, Flaffy, you can attack because it won't hurt much. Umbreon, great ball it. On Mistrippus. that Pokemon. Once. Twice. Three times. Yeah. I love just ending the battle like that. Like, it'd be so funny if it was he sends out his last Pokemon at full health, and you're like, ah! I'll just catch it and run away. Oh, that was easy for you. Losing like that snapped me out of my hyper state. Did you know if a Pokemon goes into hyper mode? Call its name and its head will snap back into reality. But what's the disadvantage to being in hyper mode? What about battles bringing me? So let's get started, little boy. Okay, so this is Roller Boy Lawn. With his Slugma and his Azuril. Azur Azuril. His baby Meryl. Oh, Bayleaf, you're so hurt right now. I'm sorry. Alright. Bayleaf, we need you. To turn into. Knockdown. Who's bad here? Bayleaf's a bad choice. Everyone else should be fine. Gotta take care of all these ones. Ah, it's a lot of damage, not enough. So if he flamethrowers, knocked out. Yeah, that would have like killed Bayleaf. Actually, it's not even it like would have killed him. It definitely would have killed him. Ooh, Hypnosis. Put Slugma to sleep for me. And we'll take out Azuril. If he puts him to sleep, I might try and catch him earlier. Because that'd be cool. Iggly buff. A little lame. Oh. Ah! You attacked the trainer. That's great not helpful at all but um yeah it, is, it, it was funny so you know don't listen to this trainer kill that trainer and I can't imagine it being attacked by an owl and that's it, it Ooh, Espeon. Alright, so knocked out. We're gonna do that on you. I don't think I realized hyper mode made them confused and stuff. I kind of figured, but I was hoping it didn't. Oh, Espeon. I think you're gonna faint, buddy. Yeah, if not from that, from Slugma. Ah, I'm 
so sorry, Espeon. I really wish it, it was knocked out. But... It's gonna be sometimes. Alright. So put knocked out to sleep and bite the swablu. Fell asleep, yes. Really? It didn't take him out. That's surprising. Slugma is fast asleep. Yeah, we're gonna keep him asleep. Even though Noctowl goes first, so that doesn't really make any sense. Slugma woke up and used flamethrower. Dang it. Alright, Noctowl. You're gonna put him back to sleep. And we're gonna bite him. We're gonna bite this lava slug. Or the magma slug. My mistake. Still fast asleep. Uh, knocked out. You're gonna sub around to Flaffy. And Umbreon, you're gonna bite it. If he stays asleep, we should be good to catch him on the next turn. Okay, he woke up. And used flamethrower, of course. That's a lot of damage. But, um, if we switch you to Makuhita, and we use a Great Ball, you like my show, but now it's time for me to go. I got 180 for winning. Wahoo. I'm rich. Okay, everyone. We've all had our fun. Until next week, farewell. Alright. So I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Oh, I can't even view my PC because there's not one here. Yep. Take m Shut up and take my money. I'd have to travel back to that last town, I think, if I wanted to look at all my Pokemon. I mean, I know I can do my PDA, and it'll tell me I've snagged. Oh, wow. Eight Pokemon. Nice. That's exciting. I like that it tells me in the trainer. The first part's like their description part. The next part is their actual name. It's just funny to see. Do I have okay? I don't have any emails. Oh, when email was a big deal. Yeah, so Bay leaves almost a fifth of the way. Makuita's almost two fifths of the way. Same for Noctowl. Bay leaf is not getting enough use. So, I'm going to be ending this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, is there anything interesting in any of these places? I didn't see these old people when I ran in here. Try to show me something. Sorry, I don't need anything. Please get out of my home. Thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you all enjoyed. If 
you did, you can click the button right below me to subscribe, and you can check out those two videos on the right side of the screen. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!